Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Contact 5. Here in the opening screen, you can see that you'll have a Libraries and a Files button. What you need to click is the Files button to find your virtual instrument that you've downloaded in a place that you know where it is. I'm going to open up the Django instrument and now is a good time to point out that if you haven't downloaded the associated files, you won't be able to use the instrument. So make sure you go to our website uh, to find these virtual instruments. If you've downloaded them and this message still pops up, please press search file system, or if you know where they are, browse for them in the folder, which is what I'm going to do. And there we go. The instrument should be loaded up just like this. What you now need to do is just press this settings bar and make sure that the mapping editor is open. The others aren't really necessary, but the mapping editor shows you where the keys are connected to. Now, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard connected, you can just click on the notes to create the sound. But if you do, you can connect it up, go into preferences, Go into MIDI and make sure that all of these are on and that here you just press Omni so it's available to all ports. And now you can play it using your MIDI controller. If you'd like to play around with a few of the settings, you absolutely can. One of the things you could play around was with instrument effects. For example, we have reverb here and you can increase that or decrease it and change it however you want to suit your acoustic needs. And there's a whole lot of other effects here, filters, EQ and other effects that you can use all through the contact player. So that's a short overview of how to use the contact player for our virtual instruments. 